Ace Heating and Air Conditioning Service finds the amount of time a repairman needs to fix a furnace is uniformly distributed between 1.5 and 4 hours. Because we have a uniform distribution, we use this notation here where the 1.5 is the lowest value of x and 4 is the highest value of x, which again are the repair times in hours for repairing a furnace. The probability density function is f of x equals 1 divided by the quantity b minus a, where again b is the highest value of x and a is the lowest value of x, giving us f of x equals 1 divided by 2.5, which can also be expressed as f of x equals 2 fifths or 0 0.4. Number one, we're asked to find the probability that a randomly selected furnace repair requires more than two hours. This is the probability that x is greater than two. Number two, we're asked to find the probability that a randomly selected furnace repair requires less than three hours, which is the probability that x is less than three. And then number three, we're asked to find the probability that a randomly selected furnace repair is between two and three hours, which is the probability that x is greater than two and less than three. And now let's graph the uniform distribution using Desmos.com and determine these probabilities. First go to Desmos.com, then click Graphing Calculator. To graph the uniform distribution, let's open the Desmos keypad by clicking the Show Keypad button in the lower left hand corner. Click Functions, click the Distribution tab, click Uniform Distribution which is here, and now we enter the min and max values for x, which in our case we have 1.5 comma 4. We need to adjust the window by clicking the Zoom Fit button, which is the magnifying glass here on the far left. And now let's click Find Cumulative Probability by checking the box below. Notice how it shades all the area under the distribution from 1.5 to 4, which is equal to 1. Let's also change the min x value to 1.5 and the max x value to 4, which will not change the shading under the probability density function. So we'll enter 1.5 for the min, enter, and 4 for the max, which again does not change the area under the curve. I'm going to go ahead and make another copy of this by clicking on the gear, click copy or duplicate, click done, and let's change the color for the second distribution to blue. And now let's find the first probability, and now let's find the first probability, which is a probability that x is greater than 2. Let's use the blue graph. With the find cumulative probability box checked, we simply change the minimum x value to 2, leave the maximum value at 4, and notice how if we close the keypad, this gives us the area shaded here in blue, which represents the probability that x is greater than 2, which is equal to 0 0.8. Let's go ahead and record this. So the probability is equal to 0 0.8, which is a percentage is equal to 80%. Now remember, if we were doing this by hand, we would find this probability by determining the area of the rectangle shaded in blue. Let's go ahead and review that. The area of the rectangle is equal to the base times the height. The length of the base is equal to four minus two or two units and the height is equal to the probability density function value of 0 0.4. So by hand we would have the base has a length of 4 minus 2, the height is equal to the probability density function value, which is the constant 0 0.4, which gives us 2 times 0 0.4, which gives us the same value of 0 0.8 or 80%. Next we'll find the probability that x is less than 3. So going back to the graph, we will now change the minimum back to the least x value of 1.5 and we'll change the maximum x value to 3 to represent when x is less than 3. And we can see from the graph it does shade the area under the probability density function to the left of 3. This area is equal to the probability that x is less than 3 which is equal to 0 0.6 or 60 percent. Again let's go ahead and record this. And again, to review, 
if we were doing this by hand, once again, we would have to find the area of the blue rectangle, which is equal to the base times the height. Notice now this is three units here, so the base is equal to three minus 1.5, and then of course the height is equal to 0 0.4. So by hand we'd have the base of three minus 1.5 times the height of 0 0.4, and this is equal to 1.5 times 0 0.4, which does give us 0 0.6 or 60%. And for the last example, we want to find the probability that x is greater than 2 and less than 3, or between 2 and 3 hours. So we change the min x value to 2, the max x value at 3, which it already is. And again, we can see the probability is equal to the area of this blue rectangle which is equal to 0 0.4, or 40%. And once again, to show this by hand, we need to find the area of the rectangle, which is the base times the height. Going back to the graph, base is a length of one unit, since three minus two is equal to one, and the height is 0 0.4. which of course gives us the same result. I hope you found this helpful.